First, does the White House have any uh, reaction to reports of conflicts of interest uh, regarding the judge who struck down the uh, health care law? I'm sorry, say the first part again. D does the White House have any reaction to reports of conflicts of interest regarding the, uh, the uh, judge? I, I don't have any reaction uh, particularly on that. I think if you um, look, uh, there was a lot of commentary on yesterday's ruling. Um, I think it is important to get a couple of points of perspective. Uh, Eleven cases challenging the constitutionality of some portion of the health care bill have been dismissed. Two federal courts have actually upheld the constitutionality of the very provision that another court ruled, uh, ruled differently on yesterday. And as I said, 115 miles apart, two judges in the same commonwealth came to different conclusions. Um, so uh, I think if you take a, if you take a, if you really look at the ruling, the, the thing that I'm struck by is quite honestly the narrowness of the ruling based on the petition that the Attorney General made. The Attorney General, and I think <clears throat> to be clear, the Attorney General wanted the entire piece of legislation based on proving what he thought was uh, one segment of the bill unconstitutional, that the whole, <clears throat> the whole bill would be struck down. The judge actually, uh, despite a lack of a severability clause in the larger legislation, severed his ruling on the mandate away from the rest of the legislation. The practical impact, because the only thing the judge dealt with was one aspect of the legislation to be implemented in 2014, there's no practical impact at all as uh, states move forward in implementing the decision or in implementing the law that Congress passed and the President signed. So I think... Uh, it sounds like you're saying it could have been worse. Do you think that the fact that it could have been worse means that the <coughs> conflict of interest is just... No, no, I, 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 don't, I, I don't have, uh, uh, Tom, anything uh, with me on the... On, uh, on, on what you asked me about the conflict, I think what I what I'm struck by is less that it can be less that it was could have been worse, but just how narrow it was. And again, you know, uh, we, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but um, a lot of coverage happened for uh, just two weeks. Not a lot of coverage happened for something two weeks ago, where the where a judge in a different district in the same Commonwealth ruled and upheld the constitutionality of the very same provision that a, a, a judge ruled differently on yesterday. What I think that means is that uh, this is uh, some aspect of this is going to wind its way through the legal process as states move forward and as the judge explicitly let the states move forward uh, on, on dealing with the law that Congress passed. I think... Uh, uh, I, I think the notion somehow that, uh, you know, there's some historic crack in this is, uh, is, not, uh, is not held up by what the judge actually ruled on.